What's the overdrop? It's, like it's getting, getting very much fruity. The flavor. Oh, Let's get this roast to cook it. The show was People call me the devil, Satan, Michelle Visage. Can you explain to me why you're so white? I was going for like a Marie Antoinette kind of powdered face to reference, you know, like a queen of hearts. Arms and your hands are a different color. You didn't even touch them with your makeup and that just drives me nuts because it completely takes me out of the illusion and the fantasy immediately. We are given a very limited amount of time to construct these looks, paint our faces, prepare. I hear you, girl. Everyone gets the same amount of time. Use it better, maybe. You guys were pathetic. Wow. It wasn't really fun watching you because we could kind of see that you're having a hard time with it. I knew my lines, but my lines were not coming out how they should have. You did not know your lines. Uh, you know, FYI for all of you girls up there, I don't want to hear any goddamn excuses. Be prepared. We didn't have time to be rehearsed. Make and it work. Make it work. Fucking make it happen. I don't want to hear any goddamn excuses anymore. It's opalescent opulence. But I hate, hate, hate your hair and makeup today. The wig and the makeup could have enhanced your face even more to match this beautiful gown that you have won. Had you done like a high-waisted baggy pant and then a cinched in corset over top of that, lost the chunky boot and done a sickening stiletto with like a purse, with all the, with like a gold chain belt. So completely different. Completely <laughs> different. See, I am starting to give up here. It's rather pedestrian. I'm not getting glamour. To me, this looks glamorous. I have big blonde hair. This to me is not big blonde hair. I do think we have a slightly different aesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> but you came out wearing a finger wave wig and something I probably could have bought off the rack at Primark, no joke. <laughs> there you go. That outfit off the rack was a huge disappointment to me. And then this just goes to all of you up here. If it is from H&M, you better glitter the fuck out of it and make it something special. Don't waste my time. I don't want to see any fucking H&M. And the Inspire. I don't even know what you're selling me, but I don't, I don't want this. I want to change the channel. I've gotten this note a million times, which is why I'm just passing it your way. Less is more, because it almost gets a little serial killer-ish. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, on the positive note, I didn't hate your hair. It's human. Really doesn't matter whether it's human or not. I did it myself. That shows you've done something. Okay. This is the 14th Street dress, like, that doesn't fit you. I don't care if you're going to give me your hog body line or whatever it is. Oh it's God. just, I expected more for you. Mm -hmm. You're rocking the world. No one was harmonizing, and it got a little monotonous. What's going on with you in detox? Relaska talks. You got this little sisterly thing going on? I'm worried about you relying on crutches. Last week, you lip synced for your life, and you did a little jaw thing, and it's funny. Let's not kill it. I don't know why you're holding back. Don't worry about your group, whoever you're with. No! Worry about you. The world's about to end. If there was ever a time to do your thing, it's now. So what say you to your coffee? Um, I will step up all now of my You said life. that last time. I don't want to hear that. You're setting the bar so high, I'll be waiting to see if you can keep raising it. Because when you fall, you'll fall hard. Shame. Is that a challenge, it's, Michelle? It's always a challenge when I throw it out there, darling. Hello. Next. I'm just concerned for you with the boy drag. It is a drag show. You know, I'm paying my $5. I want to see Alaska. I think you're fabulous. Thank you, Swiggy. It's nothing really out of the box. It's a mini skirt with gloves and some caution tape. It's just interesting that you guys must have watched Drag Race for the past 11 seasons, and yet you come on here not really knowing how to sew, some of you? You know Rue would never wear this or anything like this. I know you're trying. There's a little sad little feather up there. So I think this one was a, a miss for me tonight. But unfortunately, it's not quite enough to cover up this 
outfits. Unpolished, unfinished. Okay. Juice box, hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. You sure? <laughs> well, not, not now. I'm, I'm really trying to find something positive here, and honestly, I, I can't. You okay? I just feel a little bit of a panic attack coming on. Okay, don't, don't, don't panic. <laughs> clap if you care. <laughs> clap if you, clap if you care. For me, I did them the service of telling them exactly what I thought. Absolutely. I think that's what Michelle does. I mean, I was just talking to Tatiana on the last pit stop about this. If you were a judge, don't you think you would take the role so seriously that you would tell those hookers what they need to hear? Because your job is to tell them what they need to win.